What is going on guys? It's Caleb here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great weekend. In today's video guys, we're going to tour three pool homes here in Central Florida. They're going to be priced for under $450,000. Also guys, this is my 100th and 50th video upload to YouTube since I started. Obviously, I wouldn't be here without you guys, so I want to say thank you so much for even watching my videos. I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. And before we get started, I'd like to thank the listing agents for allowing us to tour their listings to share them with you. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so we have just arrived here at the first property. It's in St. Cloud, Florida. This one's actually located in Stevens Plantation. Really, really beautiful community, as I'm sure you guys can see from the aerial shot. This one does have a pool, and it's situated on the backside of the pond. So it does have a nice pond view uh, for those of you guys who are looking for something that uh, you know may have a water view. This property may hit the mark or something like this. I do love the landscaping as well. and. Um, the exterior is great as well with the exposed uh, stone features. And I actually do like the color. So anyways, guys, this home features three bedrooms. That has two full baths. It's 1,515 square feet of interior space. It was built in 2010, sitting on a 0.22 acre lot. Taxes are running around 5,500 a year. Has a monthly HOA of $66 a month and is currently on the market for $399 thousand dollars so let's get in and take a quick tour of this home so as you get in i do like this little open area right here you have tile all throughout then we have the first two bedrooms which is actually right here to the left hand side so we'll just go ahead tour bedroom number one i like the windows as well and uh, it is kind of early in the morning right now so um the sun isn't directly shining in the house. So it may be a little darker in some spots, but uh, just to give you guys a heads up. And then also some of the blinds are not working correctly. So not able, not able to open uh, some of them in the living room as you'll see moving forward, but that is a easy fix. So here's a quick look at bedroom number two. I do like that uh, all the bedrooms have ceiling fans. And then here's a look at the closet. We have our first full bath, just right here. Sink, vanity, shower tub combo, uh, just right there. And then as we move forward, I do notice it has nice high ceilings as well, as I'm sure you guys can see. And uh, we have our first thing, closet space here. And um, as we move forward, we have the living room, dining room, and then we have the kitchen just right here to my left-hand side. And uh, you don't have any, you know, fancy countertops or anything like that, but it is a nice, uh, nice size kitchen. Here's a look at the pantry. Open that. And then we have stainless steel appliances. Yes, there's a look at the refrigerator. Uh, plenty of cabinet and counter space, microwave, oven. And uh, like I said, we have the dining room there. And then just right behind it, we have the living room. So. Uh, dishwasher sink some pretty open space for the most part which I do like and uh, like I said those three windows right there the uh, blinds are not working correctly so I can't open those but as you guys can see the space is really nice so anyways let's go ahead and get to the primary suite which will be over on this side of the house here's a look at the washer and dryer hookup area and then that just leads right out to the two car garage space and there's your water heater right there that door will lead out to the side of the house which will give you access uh, to the side of the house as well so anyways as we continue we'll find the primary suite and uh, this is also a good size uh, bedroom as well and i do think i do actually like this floor plan for only 1515 or so square feet not a bad floor plan for a house, you know, of this size. And um, obviously it does have a nice pool as well. So there's a look at your double sinks. And then bonus, you have a tub and walk-in shower. I didn't expect that. I didn't even walk this far yet, to be honest with you. But um, I didn't expect that, especially in a house, you know, that's 
of this size. So it's really nice that, you know, you do have the tub and shower option. So check mark there. Uh, let's go ahead and go out to the backyard, which I think you guys will really enjoy. I get a lot of calls from you guys um, looking for properties with some sort of water or pond view. Uh, some people want that, some people don't. Just depends on who you are, all personal preference. But uh, this is beautiful. Look at this, guys. Huge lanai space all the way down to the end of the house, completely undercover, and then it's, com it's uh, closed in and screened as well, and then it's fully fenced. So absolutely beautiful nice size pool i'm just going to go to this side here and uh, give you guys a look at the full backyard space so fence starts right there and then just goes all the way around you got some ducks just right over there as well hope you guys can see that make it a little grainy just because of the of the pool screen but do our best here as always and uh, I'll show you the other side real quick and look at this beautiful view wonderful view and then uh, fully uh, fenced all the way down to that side as well so beautiful home guys hope you guys enjoy it please um, leave your comments down below let me know what you think and let's get to the next property Well, well guys, we have just got to our second home in today's video. We're actually here in beautiful Davenport, Florida. I used to live here for about four or five years. Um, so I'm really familiar with this area. I do love Davenport. My favorite zip codes uh, to live in, in, uh, in this city are 33896 and then 33897. This one's actually located in 33. 897 it's here in the west stonebridge subdivision and it is a pool home guys it was built in 2005 it has three bedrooms three full baths it has 1735 square feet of interior space sitting on a 0 0.15 acre lot uh, annual taxes are running you around 4500 a year and guys it is currently on the market for four hundred and nine thousand dollars this location is also very good as well guys it's right off of highway 27 close to well basically right across from champions gate and uh, if you guys are familiar with champions gate at all um there that area is absolutely blowing up so there's a new Publix over there uh, a couple new restaurants and uh and whatnot and they're continuing to build over in this area so you do have access to a lot of uh places to go, grocery stores, gas stations, and uh, dining options as well. So uh, really good location. So anyways, guys, as we get into the house, let's just go ahead and go to the left side. That's where we'll find the first two bedrooms. And uh, let's take a look at the linen closet. And uh, bedroom number one will be right here. Um, I believe they did do some brand new interior paint. Um, carpet looks like it's in good shape overall, but it's also, you can tell it's been used a little bit, but for the most part, it's definitely not new, but it looks like it's in, you know, decent shape. So um, there's a look at the closet space. You definitely won't have to replace the carpet immediately upon moving in unless you really want to. But um, overall, this house is very, very clean. So here's a look at ba uh, full bath number one. We got the granite countertop, shower tub combo. And just like I said, this is probably original tile. So, um, you know, if you want to replace that later down, down the line, you're more than, you know, you can do that if you want to. And then obviously, you know, touch up the baseboards and stuff like that. So just cosmetic stuff, but overall, you know, it's still, still a very clean house. So here's a look at bedroom number two and uh, room size are pretty decent as well, especially for being under 1800 square feet. And uh, I'm excited to show you guys the pool space. There's no rear neighbors. Uh, or anything like that so I think this would be a pretty nice house for somebody I've seen this floor plan before and people usually put pictures of their family and stuff right there and stuff like that which which are really nice and then uh, we'll get to the dining and living room combo here tons of windows all throughout you got your sliding glass doors there that lead out to the pool space got our kitchen just right here so we're actually just going to go to the garage and here is a look at the washer and dryer area and uh, just right behind it we'll find the entry and exit to the two car 
garage space. And uh, here's a look at the water heater. And then also you got extra storage there as well. So not bad. And then also guys, oh, let's see what's in here. Okay. AC. And then um, you can also use this property as a short term rental. If you don't want to live here full time, you can buy this property, put it on Airbnb and rent it out. And when you and your family or friends want to uh, come here, you can also stay in your own property. A lot of people do that. So anyways, we've hit the primary suite. These uh, sliding glass doors right in front will lead out to the backyard and pool space. As you can see, uh, the primary bedroom is a pretty good size as well. I actually like the size, good size. Um, but I did notice that the bathroom was a little disappointing. You do have the double sinks just right there. A uh, nice mirror, but it's a little tight in here. That's the only thing I, I was like, oh, oh, well, you know, I get you can't have everything, but you know, for some people that may be an issue, but for some people it may not be an issue. So um, just behind that door there is the owner's closet. So uh, you have a little bit of additional closet space just right there, but it's just a little tight. And then you have the toilet just right there. So anyways, that will conclude the primary bedroom and bathroom tour. Let's go ahead and get to the kitchen and then the pool space. So as we get into the kitchen, we do have granite countertops, wood cabinets, no stainless steel appliances, unfortunately, but they do, they are very nice and clean, as you can see, and uh, they're in very, they're in working condition. Here's a look at the breakfast nook area. You've got nice windows uh, all, th all throughout that will give you ample light. And then we have um, the dishwasher, sink, and then um, some counter space just right there. So not too bad. Actually, I actually missed something. I need to show you guys the pantry. I don't expect it to be too big because they usually never are here in this area. <laughs> so there's a look at the pantry. And um, let's go ahead and check out the best part of the house. And that will be the pool space. So um, unfortunately, guys, I know I said it was three bedrooms, the th or not three bedrooms, Jesus, three bathrooms. The third full bath is actually just right here through this door. And unfortunately, it is locked, but there is a full bath just right in there, which is great just because, you know, if you guys are here at the pool and you need to go to the bathroom, you need a shower, you don't have to go through the house and uh, it's just right there. So that is a nice feature in my opinion. Here is the lanai space completely undercover basically through the whole um, length of the house and then we have the pool and spa good size pool and then we also have the paw spa right here and uh, as i turn around just want to show you guys a full look at this property so anyways House has a lot of potential, just needs a, you know some cosmetic work and whatnot. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. And let's go ahead and get to the next property. All right, folks, so we have made it to the third and final home here in today's video. This one's actually a corner lot property located in Haines City, and uh, it's right on the border of Davenport and Haines City, so it's a pretty nice area. It's located in Rhonda Ridge, and um, guys, it features four bedrooms. It has three full, you have one half bath, completely renovated inside. You got brand new AC units and a brand new roof. Everything has been updated as you'll see as we move forward. It is a pool home on a corner lot. It, uh, it was built in 2005. It has 2,980 square feet of interior space sitting on a 0 0.20 acre lot. Taxes will run you around 4,300 or so a year and that's a pretty reasonable HOA of $15 a month and is currently on the market guys for $435,000. So let's go ahead and take a quick tour. Make sure the door is closed. So as we get in, we have tile flooring all throughout, no carpet anywhere, fresh paint and that's uh, completely move in ready as you guys will see here. So we have the living room space and then the stairs just right to the left hand side i do like the colors 
that they used and then you got some high ceilings um, only thing I would say is they left the popcorn ceilings which was you know just right here in front of us which is the only thing I can say that uh, I thought they probably would have removed but you know it is what it is but overall I mean I think the floor plan is pretty great so anyways nice big house so let's go ahead we're gonna go ahead and get to the kitchen area this is actually you can just go right through that hall there and you can get right to the kitchen and the second living room space which we'll get to here shortly but we're just gonna go ahead and start the tour uh, just directly ahead of me we're gonna find the washer and dryer area which is just right here so as you see you have your washer and dryer hookups and then uh, just directly behind me, we have the pantry space and uh, nice size pantry overall. I mean, for this big of a house, definitely should have a decent sized pantry and this uh, definitely checks that box. So as we go into the kitchen, we have granite countertops, brand new stainless steel appliances. I do like the white. I'm a big fan of white kitchen. So me personally, I think it's great. So. Uh, microwave oven right there we have our sink window that you can that lets in natural light and you can see the pool area which is great um, wood cabinets dishwasher and then we have another sink just right across over here on this island here so uh pretty nice i do like this kitchen and then we it goes into the second living room space just right here which is very spacious as you guys can see so you can put a big nice tv on the wall uh, big couch and everything like that. So Really nice size space and since we're right here. We're just gonna go ahead and check out the backyard and pool space Oh gosh, man <sighs> Thing is heavy you got to be a man to open that door I think it maybe just need to be serviced a little bit, but <laughs> thing was very very stiff anyways <laughs> Since we made it out here. I do like they did paint the pool deck everything has been uh, completely repainted which is nice new screens and stuff like that so overall look at the size I mean you have a nice enclosed pool undercover lanai space and uh, pools a good size as well just obviously needs to be cleaned a little bit and um, you got green space all around if it was me I'd take the fence and just uh, go at least straight that way you don't have to you know fence the side if you don't want to but uh, if you have a dog or something like that obviously you need to have an area that is fenced so they don't just run everywhere but uh, you do have that option uh, to do later on if you really wanted to but uh, obviously it's not done here so you have to do it yourself but anyways guys nice pool deck and then also you have some green space like I told you that you've seen that um, you can put a fence out there later down the line if that's something you need so anyways let's go ahead continue we have our half bath just right here to the right hand side sink vanity and then we have our toilet there and uh, as we move forward we'll go ahead and check out the garage space and uh, here's some of their obviously they have some of their materials that they were using to paint and whatnot in the house still in here but uh, those will be removed upon somebody moving in but I do like the big window there let in a lot of natural light and let's go ahead and make our way to the second level where we'll find all of our bedrooms and uh, it does have a loft as well so we're just going to go ahead and go to the right and uh, check out the loft space and this is a good area just for maybe a game room or maybe a kids play area if you have kids put a pool table here you can really do whatever you want there, but it's a really nice size space. And uh, just right across from that, we'll find the primary suite. And look how big this bedroom is. I mean, bam, very nice size bedroom. And I'm just going to go to this corner here just so you guys get hopefully a really nice look at just the bedroom size in this house. And uh, we'll start opening the doors. Let's go check out the closets. Closet number one. And trust me guys, there's more closet space. That's just an extra closet area. So here is a look at the walk-in closet. Just right here to the left. 
And then just going down this hallway, we have the soaker tub, just right here to the right. And then to the left again, we have our second walk-in closet. And uh, lastly, we'll find our double sink. So a little bit of a tricky little floor plan there, but uh, it does work. You have everything you need. So um, you guys are probably like, where's the, sh where's the shower at? Or where's the stand-up shower? Right here, guys, there is more. So we have our toilet, and then we also have the walk-in shower just right here. So you do have everything. It's a little bit of a funky floor plan just for a minute, but you know, you do have everything you need. So that is what matters. So anyways, let's continue. Check out the remaining bedrooms and bathrooms. All right, so we have our next full bath just right here to the left. And then bedroom number two will be right here. And I think what I like most about this bedroom is it has an attached full bath, guys. So let me check out the closets for you guys real quick. Closet number one. And then we have closet number two, just right there. And then we have the attached full bath to this bedroom, just right here. So not too bad. It's kind of like you have two masters. So it's really nice to have a bedroom that has another attached bath is it's really great. So let's go ahead and check out the final two bedrooms before we end the tour. And uh, this will be bedroom number three. Again, good sized bedroom. I want to give you guys a look at the closet space. Just a regular sized closet. And then lastly, we have bedroom number four, folks. So that will be about it for this tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this closet is just identical to the third bedroom closet as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this tour and um, that will be all. All right, guys, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you need any help with buying or selling a home here in Central Florida and or Tampa Bay, my email will be down in the description below. So for now, guys, that'll be it for today's video and we'll see you guys in the next one.